In this video I'm going to be looking at primarily the perimeter of triangles. So I just want to get it clear as to what perimeter means. Perimeter is looking around the outside of a shape and the length that that would be. So if you think about um, soldiers making a perimeter, then they make, well, they go all the round, way around the outside of wherever they're, of like the enemy's base, for example, or the enemy town. If you're thinking about a perimeter fence, then a perimeter fence goes all the way around like a compound, okay, and the length of fence that that would need. So, if I was looking for the perimeter of this triangle, then it is how long the shape would be if I unraveled it. So, or you might think of it as, if I was going to put string around the whole, all three sides, how much string would I need? Well, I need to add together the three sides. So I need six centimetres there, I need seven centimetres there, and I need 9 centimetres there. So the overall perimeter is 6 plus 7 plus 9, which is 22 centimetres. Okay, so perimeter is a length, so it is measured as such. If you had a problem like this, where we have the, we already know the perimeter, but we need to find one of the missing sides, We've been given an added bit of information in that this must be a special type of triangle. It's an isosceles triangle because we have two sides the same length. So we know that if one side is 8 metres and the whole thing is 20 metres, then what we have left would be 20 take away 8, so 12 metres. So these two sides must be 12 metres between them. And because they are both the same size, the same length, we only need half of that. And so that means that x must be 6 metres. Okay? And that is how we can work with perimeter and triangles. Okay? It's not, the questions, if you get any, won't be too tough.